Okay. I might do a little bit more, but it also seems like uh, I can smell rain in the air now. So I want to do a wrapping it up type of video and um, let you know how far I got today and just give you a peek at, uh, see if I can even remember everything I did today. But the first thing of course is, not only did I extend this quite a ways and one of the things I might do in the dark is strip down those because I got one more branch out and fit them into this notch where it's missing. But I also planted a buffalo currant. Uh, some people call it clove currant. It's a native, so of course it's got six million common names. I'm watering that in. Oh, the rain will help even more. I got the precocious staghorn right in here. The um, water pathway thing. My little water canal that I was talking about yesterday is working great. I uh, almost got stuck down at that lower tree, so it'll be a hot minute before I try that again. I'm hoping, though, that I can get enough pole wood from somewhere. I've got all this nasty tree of heaven, but again, the ground's so slippy that I don't want to fall. So uh, we'll see how long it is till I actually get that particular spot extended. I've been picking off the berry clusters on these and throwing them further down the hill because these root systems are perennial and fantastic. Uh, the other thing I want to do is take a bunch of the... Um, the next trip I take over to the landslide is going to be to sow milkweed seeds. I do need to get down here pretty soon and start harvesting. Woo, that was a stink bug. Okay, that's fine. Um, start harvesting the uh, wolf berries. You may recognize these as goji berries. The difference is which region they're from. These are most likely native, but I have yet to figure out which native. So that's all happening. You can see I've got a lot of pokeberry going on so this is the time of year where i just cut off entire stalks carry them down and drop them down the cliff is that way they'll seed they'll root um in areas that aren't completely annoying and uh don't cause me to have to weed out a ton of them and that way i can continue to have a more and more stable um cliff side so you see that I mulched the area where I put the clove current. That clove current was along the far side of the house. The part I don't show much because it's got like house numbers and crap and I have to be real careful. Look at the bumble. Enjoying this wolfberry. As a bumble. Okay, so we'll go up this way. And here we go harvested of course because i have to pretty much every day of the and here i missed one or it ripened since of these red raspberries these are floral canes or is it primo cane it's the ones that refruit in the fall um pulled up some of the plastic on the walkway below here <sighs> Found a couple more bricks and I'm working on that um, raised bed back there still. The pond is still in its current state. Looks like the neighbors are cooking. Don't worry about all the smoke. I'm sure it's fine. Oh yeah, it's a barbecue. The pond is still what it is, but I filled it up this morning and it drained out smells nice harvested some beans the sumac was back here i did move that one comfrey was rooting through the bottom of the pot so i set the pot back in there because you know comfrey might actually have an argument with the neighbor's mint successfully i sure won't um yeah back in here not a whole lot of difference but the one thing i do want to show oh i put some uh hognut in the sunchoke 
I put a couple of hognut seeds in there, so I'm hoping that come spring those will pop up again. Because they're very nice to have and they're nitrogen fixers. They don't do a whole lot for beans though. Rhubarb, asparagus. And one thing that changed a lot today slash yesterday is the bird situation in here. We're getting ready for winter time. So, in order to have more birds all in one spot, everybody cuddle in. That's very nice. Um, because we are going to have six birds instead of just two in this hutch now. Uh, come spring. Wow, that's a lot of smoke pouring out of everywhere from their barbecue. Um, this is a smaller footprint of no waste feeder that I wanted to give a try and eventually I expect to hang from the ceiling eventually uh, so that it's not putting as much weight on the floor and then the other thing is I did get my um, waterer the water is actually all the way up to here and we have a little let me see if I can do this we have a little training cup right there so that um, they have a chance to figure out how all of this works. So it's, it's hilarious watching them get into the taller side. They do prefer the baby chick side of this thing. And the only thing I wish it had, this is a rent -a -coop baby chick feeder, um, which you can just Google and order wherever it pops up. And, um, the one thing that I wish it had was some sort of clear lid. So I'm just leaving it kind of ajar so that I can see, but once it's off the ground, it might be okay to just um, not have a lid. I don't know, we'll see. Put something clear over top, we'll see. And everybody's got a ton of greens. Bunny's got, that's Bunny Bird. Bunny Bird is loving eating the grass seeds and stuff that I throw in there. I gave them some wood sorrel today. And not all of them are a fan. It turns out they don't even care to find out about things like, uh, what was it that I put in there? A cucumber. Yens are just terrified and ran away from it. Kind of like that kitty cat thing where they're afraid of cucumbers but um yeah so that's bonnie this is everybody else huh i think red who is in the front and brown right over there i think red is a little bit of a bully but as long as red doesn't get like too violent or injure anybody because i have been observing red feet over there um you know, getting mad that they can't get into the feeder and pecking. It's the same number of openings. They're just bigger birds. So the original feeder is actually over here now. The one that I made by by hand out of a shoebox, and it works great. Hi, ringy dingy. Um, so, yeah. All right. It works great too, and we just gotta keep everything full and everybody's happy. So those are the big changes today. Take care, bye.